lovelies, it's Nico. I got a package I've been waiting for um, a little bit. It is my Shop Miss A haul, and I am very, very excited because this was the Black Friday sale haul, Black Friday, uh, Small Business Saturday, and Cyber Monday. I think I ordered on Monday. So they missed Friday. And then they didn't really like have their sale up on Saturday. It was weird. I tried to order Friday and when I went to put in my order, the sale that they were having, like instead of everything being a dollar, everything was like 25% off. So they were, it was 75 cents. Um, it wasn't showing in my cart. And when I went to pay, it had the total without the discount on. And it was an automatic thing. There was no code needed. It was weird. So, I waited and they did this thing on Monday and I'm very excited. There's just one slight note that my package is torn, but it doesn't look like, it just looks like I got caught on something, which is fine. So, Shop Miss A is an online dollar store. Most of their stuff is a dollar. Sometimes they have bundles that are more than a dollar. They also have their own makeup beauty brand, um, the AOA Studio and A2O Lab. I love this site. I love this site so much. I am so happy that I was introduced to this site. So Margie, if you ever watch this, thank you. Let me get, I don't have my scissors because we are currently using them to wrap Christmas presents. So, my razor, packing slip out, and here we go very excited. All of their packing slips, um, somebody like packs everything and I don't have a stamp, but I do have the person's, uh, initials. Sometimes there's like a stamp. Maybe this is a new person. Anyway, I'm really, really excited. It shows everything that they've packed. They check it off. They circle it. And if they can't find something right away, it usually has a second mark, but it's circled. So Hopefully it's in there. I got 16 different items. No, nope. well I got 16 items. Only two of them are duplicates. So there are 16 items in here and with the discount, my total was $14.74. Into the recycle bin you go. Everything is well wrapped. It is always well wrapped. I have never not received a well wrapped package from them which is nice because sometimes things that I order actually have glass bottles like not like um like essential oil bottles I had they had some essential oils I ordered and it was a glass bottle and they were all they were all just it was really well packaged it's really nice I'm very very pleased I am very pleased with the customer service that I've received so far, good all around, and sometimes it takes a little bit to ship out everything, like your order. I waited, I think, an extra week to get this. Not, not terrible, but it's a small operation. If only a few people are doing it. It's gonna take time. So, the bubble layer is off. Look at the peak! And I do recycle like I always say I recycle my bubble wrap I recycle reuse I reuse my bubble wrap I reuse my styrofoam um for my packages and let's, let's take a look that is that is what it looks like all right we're gonna, I'm just gonna start at the top. Yes, this is just, oh no, they're earmuffs. Oh, they go like this. Earmuffs, they're black, they're simple, they're warm. They're very, very warm. So I did just move to a cold climate before. I never needed earmuffs, but now I have a pair. So that's really good. These are really comfy and they're very lightweight. definitely works and it's um, fuzzy on the inside. I mean, they're really simple, but 
The other winter stuff I've gotten is fairly simple from them and it works really well. And we're getting snow tomorrow. There is that. Um, let's go with non-makeup items because I got myself some makeup items. Let's go with what my Patreons I have ordered for them. I really do like stationary stuff. Um, and if I see some fun stationary stuff that I would like, I usually get one for each of my Patreons. And this is part of their December Patreon goodies. Everybody's going to get one. There were two colors that were sold out, so. What is this? Oh, it's just a little loose string. It needs to be trimmed. No biggie. And then two pink ones. So everybody's going to get a pencil pouch. I usually keep one for myself, too. Um, so yeah, everybody's getting a cute unicorn pencil pouch. I, in Florida, had many of these. I use them for my makeup brushes for when I did cons and shows and traveling, like, you know, just, just traveling for like two hours. So my makeup brushes weren't getting squished in my purse. Use them for pencils, whatever. I don't have any stationary stuff, really. I'm trying to get some things reorganized. I'm starting to have like a Kiwi stationary desks accessories but I also want to do unicorns because all my stationery in Florida ended up being unicorn and I loved it so much but right now I'm just having an easier time finding kiwi stuff so anyway these are for patreon goodies I also got myself another case this is it's just a clear vinyl makeup case it's really nice I already have this in Florida but again I don't have much up here so I got this to put my makeup items that are down here in its own little case so they're not just you know like going willy-nilly willy around my desk which will be nice and next I got the AOA Studio um, Mochi Wonder Blenders I got a mini and a regular size one these are awesome I only have a purple one and it's not the super soft mochi one it's just the regular purple, which is soft, but it's not super soft. Also, you see that these say A+. Plus. Um, it's because that a portion of the proceeds, I think, 88 cents? Yeah, because it's $1.88. Goes to their education charity. And anyway, these, these are so good. These are so soft. And they're so nice. Honestly, I've... I should have just like gotten, I don't know what my, what my Patreons use for makeup. I don't know if they're going to use a beauty blender. That's kind of personal. Maybe in the new year I might ask a little more, but how do I open you? I don't know. Anyway. I also like that this is resealable. So you have like a storage container after you use it that's adorably smart Ooh, this is already like obviously no water so soft and i definitely need something for my under eye i have terribly dark circles on my under eye i'm also leaning on my desk i'm very tired um but anyway so so soft ah i love it all right so i got this even though they're pink there is no color choices whatever i got a repurchase in the ooh, this cap is kind of not on all the way you see how that's down yeah it wasn't it's sealed the cap's not on all the way that's dangerous um this is the AOA studio hold on pardon moi just for a moment So I, I don't want to spill this. I don't know if you can see all the glitter dust flying around now. But it did, it did spill a bit. My fingers are super sparkly. You probably can't even tell. But I'm going to... <laughs> it's all over the place. 
so this oh I'm so sparkly can you even tell if I'm sparkly probably can't anyway okay so this is the Ahoe Studio it's all over pow lighter I have one of these in Florida um, this is in the shade Moonbeam. I don't know what shade I have in Florida, but I really, really, really love using it for an inner corner highlight. Only need just the tiny, the tiniest little dab, the ittiest, bittiest little dab. And I also like putting this on clay because it's it's a loose powder, and on clay it just gives like an extra sparkle. I am so freaking magically sparkly right now. That's really pretty. Anyway, AOA Pow Lighter, Pow Lighter in the shade Moonbeam. It is a white shade because I am very, very pale girl. Next, we have from the AOA Studio. This is a foundation brush. Oh, so soft. This is a foundation brush. It's a bit firm as I think it should be. I have never put on foundation with a brush. I have used sponges. I have used my fingers. I have used... Have? No, never brush. Um, the silicone pads. They've never actually used a brush for foundation and I have some of the new um, AOA Studio... I don't even remember what their foundation is called. It's it's new. It's their new foundation line that they came out with. But I didn't mind how it went on with my um, AOA Studio Purple Beauty Blender. That was fine. But I thought it might look better with a brush application. And I figured I might as well try it. This is very firm. It doesn't feel like it's going to soak up a lot of product. I could be wrong. We'll see. I really like this. Worst comes to worst, if it doesn't work, I'm just I'm just gonna use this for painting because why not? Next, this is what I'm really excited about. Okay, I'm really excited about all of this pretty much, but I am very excited about this because my favorite liquid like under eye concealer ever was from AOA Studio. Um, they had the perfect shade to match my pale ass body and it looked nice under my eyes. It has been out of stock for months. I have written to them, I have asked them many times, and they always say stuff's in the works, new things are coming. I have finally revamped their concealer. I don't think they're making the old one anymore, which is fine, it's okay, but this is in medium to full coverage, a natural finish concealer. Is in the shade porcelain. It, it's the shade that my foundation is in. It's just a bit brighter. So, you know, I don't have foundation on, obviously. Oh, and this goes, proceeds to this go to the Paw Paw Charity. Look at that. It's a little, it's a little kitty for the Paw Paw Charity. I am so shiny from the Pow Lighter. You know, you know what, we're just, we're just not even going to put on my hand. I only ever really use a tiny, tiny bit. Feels fine. I've had, I've tried so many different brands of concealer. Well, I can definitely tell that there's a difference. At least compared to my other eye and I'm not using I'm just using the camera viewfinder to see what I'm doing so I doubt that this is even a very good job but I feel like that is better I need to also get some yellow um, corrective concealer because I think it's I think yellow counteracts the dark circles, the blue circles under my eyes. We'll see. I don't think that looks bad, honestly. Especially if I have foundation on, I think that'll look really very nice. 
Anyway, this is the new concealer. I'm very, very, very excited to get this. Finally, I have it. I don't have to just keep using my foundation and being like, oh, it's not working. It's not bright enough. Anyway, this is a repurchase because I have so many of them in Florida. This is the AOA Studio Halo Highlighter in the shade Allure. It's a little bit, it's a little bit crumbly on the bridges. But it's not dusting off, so maybe it's just the way it was pressed in. Anyway, this is very pretty. I enjoy the um, the baked highlighters. There we go. See the flash? It's not... It's not like this. When I have the pow lighter on... It is like pow, like like kind of being punched in the face. This one on me is more subtle, but there is a finish, and I think it'll be very, very nice for when I'm not, you know, everyday wear. Like when I actually put on makeup and go out in public, which is more often than I would like it to be. But that's okay. Next is another repurchase. God, that palette I got everywhere. This is the AOA Studio Lumi, what is it, Radiant Blush? Radiant Blush in the shade Delicate Pink. I only have one other blush shade that I just got from my Ipsy bag. It is not the smoothest finish. I wonder if these just got, like, battered around. I don't know. So when it is an illuminizing blush, I, it's just so pretty. I really like it. I like how it blends out. It blends down so it's like you have some color in your cheeks, but it's not, on me, it's not like I look like a cutie pie doll. I like, for my blushes, I like them to be subtle. Next is also another highlighter. Wow, I got three different highlighters. That's okay. I really enjoy this. Again, it's a repurchase. This is the AOA Studio Perfect Pressed Highlighter. Definitely not a baked highlighter. Perfect Pressed Highlighter in the shade Eris. And this is, this is more open. There we go. not white. It has more of like a champagne color to it. I mean, it has a lot of reflection. As compared to the um the halo highlighter, this is a lot more reflective. This is what I would be wearing on my face at Comic-Con. I love it. I just wanted some. I don't know when I'm doing a convention. I don't know when I'm doing an in-person sale, but I really wanted at least one of these. One of these. I definitely wanted this for my eyes and also my clay, and I wanted to have a blush that I knew that I liked that was subtle enough that it would go with my skin tone. Definitely wanted to try their new um, formula for their liquid concealers. These are repurchases and I love them. I wanted to try the foundation brush. Wow, I didn't get too much else other than makeup and then some bags. And that's okay. This is for Patreon. I, I want to do, last year I did a makeup giveaway in my Facebook group, the Elven Grove. I had fun picking out the theme of the makeup and whoever won didn't actually wear makeup which is a little annoying but that person gave their had me send what they won to a friend that loves makeup and really enjoyed it so I mean I was just at first she's like oh I don't wear makeup but I'm like then why would you enter but it was for her friend I mean it, it was fine it turned out fine just throwing away these plastic things in the plastic bin so I want to do another makeup 
giveaway. I want to do like another themed thing. I got everything except for foundation and concealer pretty much and bronzer. But I got like a blush. I got a Lumi blush for them and a pressed br blush powder that I thought would go well with multiple skin tones, dark and light. I'm very pale. I don't I don't really know how to color match darker skin tones, so I don't know if this would be good. But anyway, what I'm saying is I had fun doing a makeup giveaway last year. I want to kind of do another one um, in January, this coming year in 2020. We'll see. We'll see how everything happens. And it'll be like a makeup bag and stuff and like a little, a little thing that I've made. Anyway, that's, that's what was in my Shop Miss A haul. It is just makeup and bags. Anyway, I'm really excited. I am so stoked to get this in. When I did my makeup today, all I did was my eyes and I did some foundation in lieu of concealer and I'm just like, I hope this bag comes in. I wanna try it. It looks, at least on camera, it looks okay. I will obviously, you know, when I put on concealer regularly, match it up. These, I can't even begin to tell you how soft and good they are. They are so good. Both sizes. It is so stinking soft. It's incredible. And yeah, that's what we have. That's what I am. I'm rambling. I'm tired. I'm going to go and edit this and probably play some Final Fantasy 11 online because we reactivated our accounts and I'm really excited. Alright, Elflames, I will talk to you later. I love you. Bye. Mwah.